Welcome to my tutorial number one, redo. It's titled, Use Arrow Keys to Move Objects. We'll start by opening a Flash document. And this is the using the Flash 8. This can also be done in using CS 5.5. I'll just show you how to get started on that, but the script will be exactly the same, and I will be doing it with Flash Professional 8. In the CS 5, if you don't have this Publish tab here, go up to Windows, down to Workspace, and click on Classic workspace then up here on classic click set to classic if it still doesn't come out go over here and go publish settings and right here you want player 8 and you want action script 2 and this will work equally well as what we're going to do on professional eight. Okay, we're going to start by making a movie clip. The movie clip I'm going to call Ball. B A L L underscore M C. I'm going to call this layer Ball. And on this layer, I'm going to put a small red ball. Select frame one. Select my oval tool. Pick up a dark stroke and pick up a red for my ball. If your alignment panel is not open, pick it up under Windows here. Alignment panel. Make sure the button for set to stage is circled and holding the shift key down draw a ball then leave the shift key go select the whole thing go up to modify convert this to a symbol this is going to be a button B A L L B underscore btn this is my ball button okay and it's selected go over here back to our alignment panel and we'll center it center there and there go back to scene one click the first frame call this ball go to your library panel grab the ball bring it in and down here pick up to the instance name copy this paste it over here that's our ball we now need some action script to control this ball that's why we gave it an instance name click on the new layer action script AS for me lock the balls layer click on the action script first frame click on the actions panel to open it and I'm typing now type 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 there it is this is the code we're going to explain to you that will allow us to move this ball around using the arrow keys we need to create what's called an on enter frame function if we didn't do this it wouldn't it wouldn't start it wouldn't know it wouldn't start small o capital e capital f equals function f u n c t i o n open and close bracket don't let function throw you off it's just a word that says this is like a little program that we're going to run an open curly bracket here and way down here is going to be another closed curly bra bracket that works with that one 
and if I just click this and space it out for a second what you can see is that we have four different different distinct if tests the if test says if something happens do something and this says if the left key is down we're going to move the ball movie clip to the left 15 pixels okay this is actually what controls your speed sort of thing if you make this bigger the ball will make bigger jumps smaller smaller jumps and I'll read this line off if IF open bracket KEY capital K period is down small i capital D bracket open bracket key capital K period left L E F T all capitals close bracket close bracket uh, here's an open curly bracket for my results if this test is true do this this is the ball movie clip capital B A L L underscore M C period underscore x that's the x axis plus equals minus 15 colon and this is the closed curly bracket to end that that if I have a similar one here for the right key except it's going to be 15 not minus 15 I have the same thing for the up key the difference is going to be now it's going to be underscore y axis minus 15 and for the down key the underscore y axis and the 15 without the minus sign it's a very simple tutorial let's see if it works test the movie up down left right and if I hold two of them together it'll go on a 45 degree angle I'll also be doing a redo of tutorial 1a three and four I hope you use this tutorial I hope you learned something from it